a shot, bro. Yo, like, act, on, act, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you too, act. You know I'll be around doing my thing every now and then. You know what I'm saying? I've talked to a few girls that said they've been around Drake underage. That's I got, personally, that's got, that's got, I've talked to girls. Whoa, that said, huh? wait, wait, wait. wait. This is one thing I do got to call out to the carpet. We can't admit anybody who claims any weird shit about Drake unless we put a name to it. It's like somebody saying a nigga's a notorious snitch and then nobody want to actually put their name to saying he snitched on me. All right, cool. You saying some girl saying underage Drake shit? I, well, who's the girl? Where's the allegation? A, a, girl, a girl I know personally. All right, tell her to come on here. We want, we want to talk to her. I want to talk to her. I bring her on it. But she got to have proof, AJ. Don't do nah, that. She got to have proof. She got to have proof. I, I, uh, I can see if she did, but I mean, she told me this. A while ago, and I've talked about her recently, but she told me she was around Drake underage. Fact. Okay, okay. And and then you're playing these other games. Oh, uh, they were around Drake underage, or Drake fucked them underage? What are we talking about? Um, oh, Drake, Drake God, was, God, was, God, was flirting God, with them underage. How we gonna act like, bro? How we gonna act like there ain't plenty of evidence that this nigga is doing grooming activities, Acting, bro? Even the seventeen-year-old act when I seen the seventeen-year-old. That's 17 what I'm saying, bro. He'll act oh, like shit. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I, a girl told me this. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I asked her if she wanna pull up over here, but she might not say she might not, but because she don't want her identity out there and different shit like that. But she told me a year ago, and we talked about it recently. Tell me for a fact. So, so hey, because hey, of a person hey, being nice to you, that means they grooming you, man. Nah, 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 nah. Stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. Hey, act, I got one question for you, bro. Yeah, I got one question for Go you. On. Would you let a thirty-plus-year-old nigga text your daughter as a fourteen-year-old that he misses her? Yes or no? Okay, so I don't have a child. I have to premise it by saying that. But if you want a simple answer, I, if my daughter was a person chasing celebrity life, I wouldn't think it weird that anybody in celebrity life were trying to talk to her to give her advice or anything else. Now, if what my, about, what about hold on, if, if my daughter is a private citizen, it would be very weird and very creepy. Yes. All right. What about what about him like in high school girl basketball, bro? What do you mean? Somebody said so, so girl said that. Like, uh, like that, on, you see the girl I said that? Yeah, you didn't see this. You didn't see these posts, bro. He was he was following. Hey, you didn't see the girl say yeah. He was following he high school like, basketball players, bro. He, he, he like high school, school. Bas high school girl basketball. Like, like, what do you mean he liked it? Like, explain. He was following female high school basketball players, bro. We can't say this no other way. Bro, he, he, he like, he like, like watching hey, 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 I'm, I'm not coming no sports, please, bro. Hey, yo, I see a lot of, I see a lot of grown men. Basketball was lit. Yo, I see a lot of grown men. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, act, act. What, why, why is he following high school basketball? I don't know, but I see a lot of, I don't like women playing basketball. They don't dunk and they don't shoot really like Curry. They play like they're, they play like they're, they're playing with eggs and shit in the kitchen. I'm sorry, no disrespect to women. Love y'all, but I don't want to watch y'all play basketball. I want to watch motherfucking Anthony Edwards dunk on a nigga from the free throw line. I want to watch the actual goons do what the goons do. Some people might, hey, they like, uh, what's Shorty's name? Um, Caitlin Clark. That's not my thing. Maybe, wow. hey, are you going to say everybody who hey, likes Caitlin Clark? Caitlin Clark a baddie, AK, bro. I'm trying, I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to wait, wait, DM, wait, wait, pull up on wait, Hold on, hold on. Niggas is like, niggas is saying like, would you this and would you that? Bro, Meek Mill got mentioned as the Philly rapper in a whole court case for fucking with Diddy. Like, bro, this, like, so if we're doing allegations, we got to go with allegations, bro. No, gr the girls Drake, are Drake ain't never, that Drake ain't never been in no um, the girl no is court case. Drake ain't okay. never been in no lawsuits or nothing like that with that. Hold on, hold on. Act, act, act. Why, why is a 30-plus-year-old man okay. following a 16-year-old on Instagram, and then when she turned 18, he rented out a whole restaurant to celebrate her birthday? Just them two in the restaurant. Okay. Why, is, why is Meek in paperwork? Wait, wait, wait. Did that no, 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 no. Meek, fuck Meek, fuck Meek right now. Fuck Meek right now. Act, why is he doing that? All right, Meek's a weirdo. Look, forget him. Uh, no, 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 Act. No, wait, he's not, wait, wait, wait! Did did that happen? Did like, explain what you just said? Did that? I, I don't know. You know, I, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, I, I just, I there's re, there's reports oh, of Drake following Bella Harris, who was 16 who's, at the who's time. Bella Harris. I, and she's some model apparently, who again was 16 at the time, and he's doing very, very physically close IG pictures with her while she's 16, and then when she turns 18, he just, I don't know, coincidentally. Takes her out on a date for her birthday and rents out an entire restaurant just so they can have the restaurant to themselves. Why is he doing that? Okay, let me watch this TikTok just to try to catch up on what you're talking about. I gotta show y'all this shit, what? bro. Well, she went on a date in 2016. Oh, I guess, uh, let me find the actual TikTok. Um, let me see. Here we go. Oh, this is on on Facebook. I'm sorry, I need some words to this. Wait, so so there's somebody who the hell's Bella Harris? Could y'all help me? Yeah, I'll, I'll look up her her bio if you need me to. Sure. Hold on, let me pull her up real quick now. So Bella Harris, let's see. Okay, hold on. I I, 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 I think I have we're gonna rank Drake's worst relationships. Right. I think we have a list here. Um, I thought there's a timestamp. 
Where's Bella Harris in this? Who the fuck is Bella? I've never heard that name. So she is the daughter of a famous music producer. Really? Wait, yes. is it Harris or Hadid? No, Harris. He also fucked with Bella Hadid, but that is a different person. Are you sure about this? Yes. Yes. I'm trying to figure it out. There is digital. There is digital evidence of this happening. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Act, yo, uh, Akita. Akita currently is. Uh, Akita currently is on a fuck Drake train. So he got all the info. Uh, it's not fuck Drake. I'm just questioning these weird activities. That's all. I'm just saying. Like, can you provide me answers? Right, Maybe I'm seeing this wrong. Right, How come we don't want to talk about Kendrick hitting black women? Wait, wait, hold on. Give me one second. I'm talking about this. Hold on, hold on. It says five years ago. It says who's Drake's girlfriend, Bella? I've never heard this person. Is Drake's this person a singer? Is none other than the 18 year old model, Bella Harris. Not only is Harris known for her modeling work, her family is connected to some serious celebrities in Hollywood, too. Fans first connected Harris and Drake together after she was spotted at multiple tour dates during the rapper's recent and previous tour. While Drake is 31, making him 13 years her senior, the couple looked quite touchy on Bella's Instagram page. Many fans have even been blowing up her page with comments warning the young teen to stay away from Drake because he will most likely end up breaking her heart. Here's everything you need to know about Drake's much younger girlfriend, Bella Harris. She just graduated from high school. The model posted this photo to her Instagram on June 12th of this year with the caption, Peace out high school here's to new beginnings and new adventures. Her father is a 1980s music legend. Yes, that's Bella at the 2018 Grammys with her dad, Jim Jam. Her father is known for his work with fellow producer Terry Lewis. Their most acclaimed work was producing Janet Jackson, which leads to our next fact. Her godmother is none other than Janet Jackson. Of course, oh, that's sense. Drake probably your godfather. Don't you remember that song where Drake says, I told Jimmy Jam I use a Grammy as a doorstop? Look, Drake, Jimmy Jam, Grammy, doorstop. Come on, I know all Drake lyrics. Look. Oh, uh, oh. Look, he said, I told Jimmy Jam. Look, well, I told Jimmy Jam I use a Grammy as a doorstop. What song is that? What the fuck? Uh, that's first person shooter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on. Why y'all keep doing this? Bella Harris says, coming off an amazing New York City Fashion Week. I feel the, the need to set the record straight. I did not dine in D.C. recently. I was happily working and dining in New York City every day. Okay, I don't know what that means. And then it says, however, second source clarifies the woman now dying with Drake was simply someone who looks like the team. Yeah, they thought it was, said she's the daughter of Jimmy Jam. Also shut their rumors down. Yeah, Drake, yeah, it was, it was a doppelganger. And then, okay, come on. Okay. Look. Okay, hold on, hold on. That chat. I want you to. I want you to realize what's going on, bro. I can, I can, I can find the ways to explain this shit away, but I can keep bringing shit up. My, 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 hey, just watch the shit. Wait, wait. My brother, my brother, my brother. And the why are you finding all this false information about Drake? I'm just saying because it, it just that looked Kendrick weird. Is beating his black wife, but y'all don't want to talk about that. Oh, no, we can talk about Kendrick having a DV case, but all I've ever seen in support of that is some article off of a, off of a un. Uh, unverified site and an interview with him doing with the uh, an interview he's doing with the breakfast club where he denies it those are the only two things i've ever seen in support for it but with drake there's like five or six instances that just look kind of weird bro i'm not gonna lie to you bro they just look kind of weird her bro. father or is jimmy jam he's probably giving her advice you want to be like me do this okay, what about so the 17 year old that he was talking to on stage yeah what about her Bro, that's like 15 years ago. Drake was like 20. I'm not saying that was cool. Bro. What? What? No, it was no, bro. Wait, hold on, hold on. So just because it was 15 years ago, it completely negates the fact that he found out she was underage and then proceeded to kiss her on the lips. No. Just because it was 15 years ago. I'm not saying it's not odd. I'm just saying is if that's the only thing you have and you're trying to paint him as this weird sexual deviant and your own that's the only thing you can fall back on because nothing else holds water. It, just use that. Just Yo, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not defending nobody. But Akita, if that video is old as fuck, why are niggas barely talking about it now? Why they ain't canceling? No, that niggas have, niggas have been known about why it. It's just again, again, nigga, nigga, you gotta think too. Niggas knew R. Kelly was doing the shit he was doing, but because R. Kelly was R. Kelly in 1998 to 2003, bro, That's he was providing a lot of motherfucking bro. value to the it industry. Is it is weird. So I'm, I'm just say saying. Niggas was overlooking shit until it just I came to the public. It it's a little strange. So okay, act, okay. Let's just say, all right, it was 15 years ago. If you want to cut him that, who the fuck? Now is why was Harris, Drake? Bro. Why was Drake talking to Halle Bieber or Haley Bieber when she was 14, and then just decided to date her and go out with her at 18? Why? Why was that going on? Haley Bieber. What are you talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was in contact apparently, right? Allegedly, right? With Haley Bieber. Girl, when that, she was no, Bieber too. Yes, yes, brother, yes. Oh yeah, right. It was yeah, him and Drake was beefing about that though. So I'm just saying. And then when she magically turned 18, or I think maybe 19 at the latest, they was going out and being seen at clubs. And she was leaving his house at like 2:30 in the morning. I'm just, I'm just how saying, old was she of, at that point? Kind of weird. 
I mean, she was of age, but nigga, you was talking to her when she was fourteen. Uh, so he, I'm he just saying, he getting passed around. He wasn't dating her, bro. Like she was getting passed around between like Justin Bieber, Drake, and like the weekend. I heard even Nav got a piece. <laughs> like, she, how, how do boys in Toronto say it? Yo, she was a battery team. Again, again, I gotta all, all, again, I gotta, I gotta make sure I say, yo, I'm not defending nobody. However, somebody wait, wait, in the chat Ellie just Bieber, said, yo, Ellie Bieber, Justin, the, the Justin claims against Bieber, R. White. Kelly. The victims came out. No victims have came out against Drake. <clears throat> okay, you want me to? Okay, so let, let me say this to you. There's no official victims, but because Kendrick has opened the floodgates with this, I will say that on social media platforms, there are women that are now coming out and saying, hey, uh, I went to a Drake after party. When I was like 17 and there were other girls there, fucked? it was kind of weird. It was kind of strange. Did they get I'm not fucked? saying that you fucked them, but kind of weird. Kind of weird. <coughs> Haley Bieber used to be with Drake? I mean, I don't think they were like for real dating, but I think he piped her out when she was of age. But the point is, is he was in contact with her when she was 14 and then he piped her out when she was of age. Like, oh, no, again, I'm not, it's just kind of weird. Bro. I'm not, I'm not, again, I'm not claiming this nigga's a pedophile. I just think that he has several instances that can just kind of be lightly construed or, or just construed. I don't even have to throw lightly in there. Construed as a uh, Canadian behavioral I'm tendencies. Of a, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, I'm just saying. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay, so a few days ago, Drake released a new album, and there was one specific song on there called Bahamas Promises that caught a lot of people's eyes. Because in this song, he seems to reference the very brief romance he had with Hailey Bieber back in 2016. By the way, up until just today, I had no idea that Drake and Hailey were even romantic. Wait, okay, how old is Hailey Bieber? Hailey, Hailey Bieber age. She's 27 right now. How old was she in 2016? How old was Hailey Bieber in 2016? She was 20. How old was Drake then? How old? Oh, all right, so she was 20. Look, she was about 20. How old was Drake? Let's figure out. How old was Drake in 2016? Well, Drake was 30. Okay. Clearly involved in any sort of capacity in the past. So this was a shell shock to me. So in the first verse of this song, he says this. Haley, it's sad that I know all the tea. Broken pinky promises you fucked up our Bahamas trip. So, firstly, the spelling of Haley literally just gives it Wait, away. Does he say Haley? He doesn't say Haley. You know, I think he's always trying to. Put um, it Yo, <laughs> hey, you know, you know what I'm most mad about? If y'all niggas get Drake to change his style of songwriting, because I love his song, style of songwriting. He writes shit personal to him. He's writing shit close to the heart. If y'all get Drake to write these like monotone, nonsensical shit, I'm gonna be hurt. Like I, I could end the video here, but I won't because secondly, let's look at this lyrics. Bahamas promises. <laughs> He doesn't say Haley. I swear, it's like watching you grieve is so sad. Act like, <laughs> like uh, he do. He does sing Haley in the chorus. Haley. Yo, like, it's another, thing, we don't got to do this part of it. Like, yeah. I understand. No, it's another, Haley. It's, another Haley. it's another Haley. It's another Haley. It's another Haley. Let's stop playing. When he says that, no, I do agree. It's another Haley, though. It's another Haley. It's another Haley. Come on, stop playing. The Bahamas, it gets even weirder when you remember that Justin literally popped the question to Haley. In the Bahamas, meaning that Drake just revealed he had some sort of trip to the Bahamas planned with Haley. I know that you're not. All right, that's cap. Not for me. I Haley, mean, that's kind of coincidental, though. I mean, I'm just saying. They just making shit up at this point, bro. Like, come on, man. You're the boys just that good. Fuck out of here. I of your apologies. You put the no in monogamy. You know that you're not for me. And as Genius describes this line, the wordplay involving no in monogamy suggests that the relationship has been marked by infidelity or a lack of commitment. Now, the reason that people know that this song is about Hayley Bieber and not any other Hayleys is because there's just way too many dots that connect. Firstly, Justin Bieber literally did a remix of Hotline Bling by Drake. But in this song, Justin sings this. Try to run a game on me like it's just us. But I seen you in a Snapchat on his tour bus. When you hit my line, it don't mean that much. Now, why is that important, you may ask? Because at the time that this song was released, Hayley was uploading videos of herself with Drake on a tour bus. So, if that isn't right on your nose... That's coincidental. I mean, but okay, okay, let's let's just everybody okay, was on Drake's tour bus. Get out of here. Let's just say that this one instance was coincidental. Okay, that's cool. That's one time. Okay, right. But we've just made it coincidental for but about secondly, five other times. Okay, hold on. It's kind of weird, don't I, you think? All right, let me keep hearing. Hold on. If you go to the annotations on Genius to find out the meaning of this song, it says this. We rewrote it to make it be more like him and Drake dating the same girl and then him finding out and actually talking to the girl like, I know you called him on his cell phone. We 
decided let's remix it so this girl knows she's not going to come between two friends. And obviously, Drake and Justin have been friends for more than 10 years at this point. And Hailey dated both Drake and Justin in the same year. So that's even more reason to believe that this song is- Yo, is this like some Kendrick fan delusion shit or is this real? I can't even tell. Don't, don't, stop making it a Kendrick fan thing. It's a Drake yeah, like hater you just, thing. Bro, niggas don't want to see Drake win. Drake hater thing. Bro, it's they don't want to see Drake, Drake no, win. Yo, come on, bro. Why do you why you gotta do that, bro? Why you gotta justify it in your mind by saying niggas just don't want to see Drake win? Because Drake been winning for 15 well, years. Because bro. I'm watching it, a lot of things seem coincidental. But I, I let it play a little bit more. Hold on. It's about Haley. Now, in case y'all think I'm reaching, because I thought that this was a reach at first. There's literally pictures of Drake and Haley out at dinner together. There's literally a picture of Drake wearing Haley's necklace with her initial on it. And Here's this picture of them two together in a photo booth. So obviously the history is there. One more thing, three days before Drake released his new album, Hailey posted this screenshot of herself listening to Jaded by Drake on his album released in 2018. And this is what Genius had to say about the meaning of this song. Jaded is about Drake feeling Hold used on, by quick, his love interest. Pause the term yeah. So I, I just, I just want to make an aside too that uh, the song she's talking about was in reference to a newly 18 uh, Georgia Smith like a freshly 18 George Smith. So how we know George Smith was just, just 18? Uh, how we know? Just just want to add that in. I how mean, do we know that George Smith the was date of the song? How I mean, do we know that George Smith was 18, just 18? Stop it. Stop. I think she was I think she was 18 in 2018. I'm just I'm just listening saying. to Jaded by Drake on his album released in 2018. And this is what Genius had to say about the meaning of this song. Jaded is about Drake feeling used by his love interest. The term describes a person who has been hurt so much that they've become numb to pain and indifferent about relationships. Now, I don't know if that has any meaning. It could probably just mean nothing and she just likes the song. But I thought that it was pretty interesting to mention. <sighs> okay, so do I think that Haley cheated on Drake? Absolutely not. Do I think that she didn't commit to him? <laughs> Maybe, dude. Because not only were y'all literally dating super casually at the time, so you guys weren't committed to each other, but Haley was 19 years old. You were 29. Drake was just friends with her, bro. Cut it out. Oh, man. <laughs> Like, it's just like, how do we know Drake was fucking her? How do we know? You ever feel I like mean, if she, she okay. Hey, bro. Hey, act, bro. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. You ever had a girl over your house kicking it to 2.30 in the morning and she just left your house and y'all was just like friendly kicking it in the house? Let us be real, bro. Nah, I have. I have. You have. Yeah, that happens all the time, man. I've had a girl who was just like, like, I could tell, like, either no. I feel like she wants me to do too much to get it. And I'm like, all right, no, we could be friends. That's my new line. I've always been, my, my new line for the last few years has been, Oh, no, it's all good. Let's be friends. No, anytime I say that, I'll never see you again. But we're just going to go ride out the, the, the end of the night till your Uber gets here. That's how it goes. Bro, I'm sorry. If 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 that's the case and we're not fucking, she leaving way before 2 30 in the morning, bro. I'm well, not well, 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 I would be in, in that thought. But these bro, days, yo, yo, I would be in that demon. thought, but these days, because I'm popular or some might call famous, if you treat somebody bad, they will reinvent the situation to make you look more than like an asshole. There's no crime against being an asshole. They're, they could then say things about you that could possibly affect you. So, what I've learned is that you got to learn to take the L. You know what I mean? I'd rather a chick call me a simp than an asshole these days. Earlier in my career, I, I would have hundred million percent. You call me a asshole than a simp. These days, you gotta take the L. That's okay. Take the L if you end up not going, it's, it sounds like a W to me. If you're not <laughs> doing the bullshit. Yo, I just want to say, Billie Eilish literally said Drake was just being friendly to her and supporting her in her career, bro. Nothing weird. So like, so that tweet was that tweet was real though, right? The, I've been waiting. That was a real tweet, right? Yeah, yo, here's the thing. That's CGI. Yo, how are y'all bringing up all these things and, and none of these women, including Haley Bieber, nor Bella Harris, or whoever else has made any accusations against Drake? So, like, it feels like y'all I mean, I mean, why did it take so long for women to come out, like, publicly against R. Kelly, bro? That's your story. Y'all be pushing this line, and it's like... We don't gotta push this line, gang. And but why also, can't people just believe that yo, Drake is a friendly also guy? Say, Georgia Smith was 21. Yeah, she was 21, but who's to say that he wrote that song that year? <laughs> they gotta stop. Well, Drake the chick is 21, and now we're, and now, we're saying, now we're saying maybe he wrote it. Maybe he wrote it four years before when she was 17, or five years when she was 16. So Drake can't. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Kita, that's a key to y'all. Find him in the Discord. Okay, I got, I got, I got one, I got one more for you. I got one more for you. <laughs> I got one more for you, okay? So have you heard about this private Tinder uh, that Drake apparently has going on? Have you heard about that or no? I have not, but put me on game. Okay, so apparently... 
basically uh he doesn't use public tender for obvious reasons but he has like this private tender where people basically like vet girls right and they figure out like who would be best match with drake and then they take them and they go back to like okay. you know the private dwellings with drake and stuff like that so i just i just want to preface what i'm about to say with that right and have you have you by any chance seen wait, wait, wait. Uh, the leaked could video I, wait, wait, of can Dinner? i ask you a question before we get to that if yeah. a artist or anybody of, of of interest or a celebrity had a way to vet girls maybe you call it a private mm-hmm. tinder or whatever you call it is that mm-hmm. weird or is that illegal it's not illegal is, and it's not it's not weird i actually would think that it was the smart thing to do but when you have rumors of him bringing girls that aren't carded when they're vetting it's kind of weird it's a little weird Bring girls that are what? That are not carded. They're not ID'd. And again, this is all just this rumors, right? It's just rumors. This is not substantiated anywhere, but it's just being said, right? It's just being said. But they're not carded, apparently, when they come back. How could Drake prove to you that he's not a pedophile? <laughs> I, I mean, you, how, do you, how do you do that? Like, you would have to. You the hard part six. Yeah, the hard part six. <laughs> no, Which this, was, you know, yeah, that went over real well with a million dislikes. You know, I'm and asking totally this well. because... It appears that you don't have anything substantiative that you're hanging on. You're hanging on rumors, innuendo, things that might look strange. Nobody's fighting you on that. But you're hanging on the possibilities, and you're down to use any long list of possibilities to kind of prove that you were right. So I'm saying, how does he prove that he's not what you think he might be? Oh, just tell me. I don't know how a man proves that he's not a pedo unless he's videotaped every waking minute of his life. I, I don't know. Yeah, you, you, I, all right. Know. Yeah, yeah, so you yourself is basically saying Yo, Akita, bro, chill. the accusations that has been levied on him and that you seem to, let, let me not say believe, but, but, but you at least you're interested in. There is no way he could prove to you that these aren't true and that he's a normal guy. All I'm saying is, again, I will not. Go out on a limb and say that he's a pedophile. Well, I will not do that. I don't think he is. But again, I think that circumstantially, there's enough instances that you can look up where they can be construed as grooming. Akita, if a nigga is trying to talk to 16-year-olds, I know the definition of pedophiles is not as such. But if you're 30 trying to talk to a 16-year-old, you are a pedophile to me. Would you agree? Okay. Then would you, in no, that, no, no. in, would in you that, agree? no, no, no. Okay. Would you agree? Would I? Would I agree yes. if they're talking to them or if they're having sex with them? Well, I'm talking to at a romantic level to have sex with. I yeah, I think you're pretty weird. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm asking you: Have you seen anything in the sort that would make you feel that about Drake? The closest thing that I could see to that was the Millie Bobby situation. That's the closest example. Okay. So you claim that there's one situation that's close to you maybe having that thought that he might be a pedophile. But then I ask you a question, how could he disprove that he's not one and you're saying that he would have to record every waking moment of his life to prove that he's not one. So basically you're saying <laughs> that me. you're telling me, me he's guilty. You're telling me he's guilty until proven innocent. Which which is I, I again, bro, I'm not going to I'm not going to outright say he's a pedophile. I'm not going to do that. I, I think that's a little much. I'm not going to do that. I'm just saying well, again. You're operating like he is. I'm Kendrick, saying, how could he vindicate himself of maybe the allegations or even the thought? And you're saying that he would have to, like, how know. could he? How could he? I don't know. Because I, don't, I genuinely, like, not trolling aside, I, I really don't know. Like, there's so many instances where it just looks weird, bro. It just looks weird. So pretty much I don't know how he kind of believe this, and there's not much he could do to change it. Yeah, I mean, at least you got it where you said people have not come out and and filed against him. At least he has that because people have not gone to court about it. But it just again, there's like five instances, especially the recorded shit with you on stage that just contextually it looks weird, bro. What, what it I just, think it looks I think, weird. And, and Akita, you could correct me if I'm wrong. But I think Akita is saying, bro, there's no charge for grooming like yet. However, Drake has been on camera doing questionable shit, bro. And if we all say he hasn't, then we're all lying, bro. All right, but what if the women in question actually speak up in interviews like like uh, uh, declining that, which like Billy Bobby Brown, Billy Eyes, they both have been in interviews turning that shit down, saying, yeah, yeah, no, I'm be honest with you, friendly. I would I would agree with some of the grooming things if, if maybe all of these people he was uh, linked to beforehand came out and admitted that they had romantic relations with him once they were of age, right? Um, if I'm going to be fair, though, a part of grooming is making sure that they don't say I'm just saying, I don't, I, don't, I don't think anything. I'm just saying, if he was grooming somebody, they wouldn't say anything because that's a part of grooming. I just want to point that out. That's, I think that's an obvious thing that we're overlooking, but I'm a, I have no thoughts about this. Continue. I'm a bad step or something. This is such an interesting thing because, number one, I, I feel this is a Drake thing. And I feel like this is a Drake Kendrick thing constantly. Because I don't think that people make this issue and, and, and try to stand on it and try to 
push it forward and push it home if it wasn't for Drake and Kendrick in this time. Likewise, I believe there's a bunch of other people in music that people don't necessarily care about this particular issue. They care about Drake in this particular issue, if that makes sense. For example, if I name five people who allegedly had sex with, 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 with a very known person it, within the rap community, Ruby Rose, when she was 16 or 17, we don't have the energy for any of them. We don't, nobody's really having think pieces. People are like, ah, it's Ruby. This Drake thing, which we don't know for sure, but you know I mean? You can make some speculations or you can say, oh, that's weird or whatever. People have a lot of energy and, and to be honest, people almost have convicted without even hearing anything else just because it's Drake. Does that make sense? No, I could I could I could understand that. Like you there are people that just want to see the downfall of Drake. Yes, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. But I just again, if let's let's say the shoe was on the other foot and it was Kendrick or whoever else, it doesn't really matter. Again, I could overlook what we're talking about if it was like one or two times, but the fact that there's just like at least four or five different instances of it, it it's just hard to ignore it. And you can explain away each individually, but why are there so many times where, like you could kind of conflate them to each other? Like it's just it's okay. it's strange, uh, um, bro. No, like and you would think he would know better than to do that. Okay, you're right. All right, give me one second. Uh, Meek Mill, I see I see uh, your uh, irrelevant emotional ass is still obsessed with me. Let me let me just be very clear <laughs> and tell you this. And I see you 